My name is Chris Cook. I'm the Managing Director of the Office of Communication and Marketing at Texas Tech University and Texas Tech Public Media. Texas Tech University is full of great communicators and together we hope to bring you perspectives and insight that can help you in your field. Communication is what we do every day and it's intricately connected to our success and failures. This is Communicators in a Cart. Illinois native Dr. Bill Gustafson made a hard right in Tuscaloosa, Alabama 39 years ago and ran out of gas in Lubbock, Texas. The last part may not be true, but it fits in perfectly. Beyond the Corvette and Double T branded cowboy boots is a man whose direction and leadership in the Department of Personal Financial Planning has elevated the program as the nation's best. Seriously, it's been ranked as the best. Doc, Hi, Mr. Cook. How you doing? Good, fine. How about you? I'm doing good. I'm heading to get coffee. I would take you, but my, my cart's gone. Well, I'm not riding in that rat wagon anyway. I drive the coolest motorcycle on campus. I drive the coolest car. We're going to go in my car. Hey, I'll ride with you. Absolutely. Let's do it. You don't have to open the door for me. Well, yeah, but you're, 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 uh, you're wearing a tie and I'm not. Well, I appreciate that. I respect all these uh, guys in the big house. <laughs> oh, this is definitely different. <laughs> We're going to ride in style. This is a high school ride. Yeah, I know. Oh, this is nice. We'll get our hair messed up. Well, that's all right. At least we still have it. Yeah. Of course, we don't have it for now. Many. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, so did you get this car then, or is it something you bought later? I bought this in February of 2012. I, I flew up to Denver. I'd gotten on the phone with a person. A woman owned it. She was the original owner. I've got all the papers that were stuck in the window, all of the original things. She bought it in Columbus, Ohio. I drove it to uh, Loveland, Colorado. And when I, when I, when I, you know, I got there and looked at it and drove it and all that. So I bought it from her. She said, well, what are you going to do? And I said, well, I'm going to drive out here east of Denver on Interstate 70 right there and stop and get two cans of, of uh, sea foam and dump them in the gas tank. And I said, I'm going to drive back to Texas. And she's like, oh my gosh, you're going to drive it all the way to Texas? And I said, well, yeah. Well, only had 38,000 miles on it when I got it. And uh, the only thing I did was change it to a five-speed transmission. I took the other automatic out. And this is a five-speed. I discovered that this one's actually built in St. Louis, not 40 miles from my farm. Good Lord, need a forklift to get out of this thing. Huh? Need a lift to get out of this. Uh, you look but cool in one of But it these. looked good not, getting out of it. You're not right. really cool in it, but you look <laughs> cool in it. Right. movie's made about your life. Who plays you? That was the first question I thought of, so I gotta ask him that. Uh, <laughs> let me think. From current current days, uh, you know, we have to have somebody who's half off his rocker. Uh, Nick Nolte. Nick, <laughs> no, now Nolte's over no, the no, edge. No, Gary Busey. Gary, yeah, Gary Busey would be rocker, as right? nutty as you can get. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know, somebody who's I don't know. I'd love to say Hugh Jackman, but no, no, he's in shape, and uh, <laughs> you know, I don't well, know. Well, that's all right. It's, it's whoever you would want to pick. You, you could pick it. So if you picked him, that'd be fine. So I, I want to talk about your your background, but I, I want it's we've got to mention the personal financial planning program sure. that you and correct me if I'm wrong. You started, or you were brought here to? No, I started. It, you started there, the. There was no. Uh, there was no. Uh, inkling of PFP, as it's now called, coming into higher ed, it, it, the CFP designation had been de developed by a private school. And uh, when they decided that they wanted to really become a profession, you know, it, it was just like, it was just like accounting. If, if you, uh, if you are not taught in the you know, in the university system, you don't get credibility as, a, as an occupation. And when they decided to bring it in, that was in 85, and I'd gotten an inkling about it earlier that that was gonna happen. So I started doing the politics on campus of starting a new major, which, you know, you don't go look that up in a book. Um, 
And so we were really ready. I had the, the local chapter of the Financial Planning Association got behind it. You know, this place always had great love for tech. So go, going back to 1985 and now to 2017, so 32 years, the program is, is the uh, top-ranked personal financial planning program in the country. It's also been a model for many universities that have established similar right. programs. What occurred in those early days or what vision led to that, uh, that status? You know, people always say, I'll, I'll get some kind of thing, but oh, you were a real visionary. And I thought, well, no, to me it was common sense. You know, you're, when you get hired in a university, you're supposed to make something happen. And I, I think the thing that really did it is something that's still here. And that tech has a real entrepreneurial spirit. When you're in a state with UT and a and and all the kids in Texas grow up seeing that and think that's normal, they don't realize there's no two flagships and land grants in the U.S. like those two schools. And tech has always worked hard in a way we've always had a chip on our shoulder trying to, hey, right, by golly, right. we, we may not be as rich as you, but we'll outwork you. And I really had an embracing environment. I had support from the admin. I had support from my dean, Dean Bess Haley. Um, and then I had support, you know, we have a JD MS. We have an MBA MS. We have an MS tax MS. But that shows you how you pull the other places in. We were the first ag school in the U.S. to have financial planning as part of an ag eco degree. You grew up, as we've mentioned earlier, on a farm in Jerseyville, Illinois. In a, I was born in a log cabin. You were born in a log uh, cabin. Like Abe Lincoln. Pumped your water. Uh, Abe Lincoln <laughs> lived in that log cabin right uh, before you No, he was, it was a different one, okay. but that's okay. <laughs> um, but uh, so, how do you how do you how do you go from uh, being being a farm boy? You went to school you Southern Illinois, right? And University of, University Illinois, of Illinois taught at the University of Alabama before you came, right. and that was in the seventies, right? Um, and you recently retired, but did you really retire? Well, uh, this would be one example. Uh, <laughs> uh, tomorrow, I've got to go to the recruiting luncheon uh, because I recruit at the undergraduate level for the whole college and at the graduate level for our PFP program. But I also, whatever I'm asked to do by somebody, you know, I, I'm like, uh, uh, this place has been my life. You know, my son went here. I mean, grandson just graduated. Um, and, it, and it really grows on you. I never understand how somebody can spend most of their career at a place and then as soon as they retire, they run off someplace else. I'm thinking, well, you must have really been working, developing friends off in Idaho or wherever uh, right. to have better than what you've got right here. I've got to make this observation. You are the only person, I'm, I'm willing to bet everything on it, in Lubbock, Texas, that knows two people from Delhi, Louisiana. I would say that's true. And what's really interesting about that <laughs> is the first little thing, you know, I, I mentioned to you that, that, uh, and that would be me and uh, uh, Dottie, and Dottie Bagwell Dottie, who yes. was in the program here. Exactly. And the next little town south of Jerseyville, Illinois is Delhi, Illinois. So That's right. That's so right. So there yeah. you, you know, so there you have that. Yeah, I, I am the only person I know here that I would say those two people. So Delhi, you stopped Louisiana. off at the Sonic in Delhi, right? Did you? Did you yeah. take a trip to the Sonic or the gas station at least? Well, you you know, your gas station, you meet more interesting characters, you know, That's Sonic. Or if, now, if it's the night when they're having the cruise and you pull up in a vet in a Sonic, you all of a sudden get a whole lot of uh, attention. <laughs> oh, Dr. Gustafson, Bill, thank you so much. You're it's welcome, Chris. Anytime, man. Yes, sir. Anytime.